Hello, my beautiful viewers. If you haven't watched my first disturbing music videos, Iceberg, you should go do that. Because in that video, I said I wasn't going to do tier 4 and tier 5 because I was a bit too nervous, but I toughened up, mentally prepared for this, and boy did I see some I'm not sure why I censored that, that's probably the cleanest thing I'm going to be saying throughout this video, but let's hop back in to the Kino Sick Iceberg, straight from tier 4 and tier 5, this will be... I am confident the most disturbing, disturbing music videos iceberg on the internet. So, if you want to look these up, go for it. I would advise against it if you care for your mental health in any way, shape, or form. But let's go. Alright, so the first one is the infamous cattle decapitation video, forced gender reassignment. And I know I saw clips of this before, I am positive I saw clips of this before, but when I did a rerun of all these, I could not find a video online, but I know there's one out there somewhere. When I did see it though, uh, it was a lot of gore, very brutal, lots of torture, everything like that. I can't give you a super in-depth breakdown because I don't remember everything that happened, but there is a ton of blood, a ton of violence, a ton of gore and it's been labeled as one of the most controversial music videos out there. All right, let's see if I can keep my lunch down on this one. It's a fail at carnage or worm. So there's this dude, right? He's sitting in a room. Uh, there's blood coming towards his feet, and it cuts to him doing it with a lady, and they do it for like a whole minute. It becomes a hub video for a while, till he puts his hand down in the private region, and blood starts coming out, and neither of them seem to care. They keep carrying on with their business. They ignore the blood and the maggots. I forgot to mention there's maggots too, crawling all over them. And then after the uh, intercourse, the screen fades to black and the man is still there, but the woman just turns into a pile of organs and intestines. And the guy tries to like grab them and put them into his body, but they got maggots all over him, but he doesn't care. He keeps trying to put them into his body. Now! Brace yourself for what I'm about to say, and this is going to be much worse for me since I actually saw it before. You've probably noticed I've been putting some emphasis on the maggots thus far, and that's because we get a close-up of this guy's wiener, and a maggot crawls right out of the hole. <sighs> and I can't believe I just said that out loud. And then his ball sack explodes, and there's white goo and pus and every other fluid you can imagine all over the place it's absolutely disgusting this one should have been in tier 5 king 810 kill them all couldn't find this one either but what i did find was that there was some sort of hate speech ban on it so i'm not really sure what to make of that if you can find it let me know eight foot sativa sleepwalkers so when this song was released the whole band was vegan so this is like a pro vegan anti-meat video all the animal footage in this came from New Zealand. It shows the really harsh and brutal conditions on the farms for chickens, cows, pigs, all sorts of farm animals, and it's really sad. I'm not vegan, I eat meat, but it's still really sad to see this whole process and how poor the living conditions are, and it's a process that could definitely be easily improved with a couple adjustments, so it's just unnecessary. Scald them orgastic blasphemy. So this starts out with a woman hanging upside down in like a torture chamber and next to her there's a bunch of other people like in bathtubs full of blood. After that a big dude comes over and he starts puking on all of these people for some reason and then the woman I mentioned earlier that's hanging that guy decides to cut her completely in half from the bottom up so it looks really painful. Oh and her blood's like falling on the people below her and they like have their mouths open important detail. So after that fiasco, all the people start having this bloody orgy while this guy pukes on them and that's pretty much the video. Kickback Cavalcare La Tigra. It starts out with some guys in black hoodies smoking pipes and I guess their goal is to just be world torturers because they just go from house to house torturing people and it's the same torture method every time. What they do is they make the family members torture each other. So there's like three people sitting in a room and they all have funnels in their mouths and they have the family member slit their wrists and the blood falls into the funnel so the family members have to drink their blood. It's really gross. So they just keep terrorizing families. They burn a house down. They burn people alive. 
and that's pretty much it. Antagonist AD Gates of Hell. This is another pro vegan anti meat video, but I think it's more so just anti animal abuse because these farm animals are abused for absolutely no reason. The farmers could eat, or the butchers could easily make it a clean kill and move on, but some of the stuff I saw in this video is just terrible. I mean, they burn them while they're still alive. They, they don't just like do a clean cut, like they really get in there. It's bad. Um, yeah, this, this one also made me really sad. Humans, whatever, but when I see things like this happen to animals, it just hurts my soul. Danzig, it's coming down. So luckily, this one's all in black and white. And it's not too bad until you get to the real highlight of the video. And that's when some dude takes a needle and sticks it right through his ball sack. Yeah, that's when I realized I'm still on tier four and I am in trouble. Throughout the video, he just keeps putting sharp objects into his genitals and it is not, not okay. Not okay at all. Skeptics AFFCO. This one is another one of the animal videos, except this time it deals with lambs. It shows the process of how they're killed and processed and turned into meat. The contrast here is that the lead singer is also being enveloped in this plastic wrap uh, to show, I guess, what it would be like if humans were store bought, put into a Walmart on the shelves or something. That's what I got out of the video. I can't say this next one with a straight face. Passenger of shit, lick my diaper. I am not gonna lie to you. I was really nervous going into this one, but I was pretty relieved when I saw the actual video. It is pretty much all animated. Uh, there's poo coming out of buttholes. There's semen coming out of wieners, but it's all animated, so it's not that bad. And there's these quirky dudes wearing masks. They're the singers of the song, and like they're the only part of the video that's actually real. You can pretty much tell these guys are just two dudes screwing around, although I'm not sure because the an the animation looked like professionally done. I'm not sure who would have actually sat down and spent their time animating this, but I think they need to go to a mental hospital. So yeah, I'm not saying this one's not gross. It's really disgusting, but since it's not real, uh, I can't really complain about it as much as I've complained about the other ones. Butcher's Harem, Clinical Sodomy. Okay, so this one's also animated, but it's like a 3D animation, and I could not take it seriously. It's definitely not tame, like, at all, but I just found it funny for some reason. The video literally feels like if Pam Tree, the guy who made those videos with like Spongebob and Santiago and all those people, if Pam Tree were to make a not safe for work video, this is what I imagine it would look like. Like there's this pregnant woman wearing this pig mask and it just looks so stupid that I can't take it seriously. That pig lady is the main character of this video and later on somebody reaches inside her and just grabs this pig baby. <laughs> it's just so stupid. There's a ton of gore and stuff like that but the animation just looks so silly that I didn't really find this one disturbing at all. It was more of a what the fuck sort of thing. Last one in tier four, MC Bush Pig Eat My Rotten Meat. Whew. This is one of those ones where I question who spent the hours to actually make this. This one is 2D animation and it deals with farm animals that have, for some reason, human-like, you know, human-like private parts. And I only watched this for 30 seconds before I got the point and turned it off. They bang, they kill each other, all that sort of stuff. I had to turn it off because if someone were to walk into the room, there was no way I could possibly explain to them what was happening in this. They would have never believed me. All right, tier five, the last tier of the disturbing music videos, Iceberg. Professor Cuddlecore, two eyes. This one isn't that disturbing, but maybe I'm desensitized from tier four. The first two minutes are pretty normal, then we start to get close-ups of a bunch of people's eyes, and some of them are like really, really disgusting. They're either deformed, super red, they have like inflamed skin all over them, and then one of them, which is supposed to be like the big shock, I think, doesn't have any eyes at all. It looks like they were gauged out, and it looked pretty real to me. I don't think it's fake, and that's really it. It's just close-ups of disgusting eyeballs. Lemkuja, melancholy. 
the author of this video said it's strictly to make people disturbed and there's no deeper meaning or anything to it. It's just a bunch of flashing clips of everything from animated shows to horror movies to some real gore. The video clips flash so fast that you can't even really see what's going on. I'm sure it would be a lot more disturbing if you paused each turn, but if you just play the video full through, you'll be fine. It's just really fast so you can't see much of what's happening. I'm not even gonna attempt to say this one out loud, but it'll be down there. This one was weird because I am still not really sure what was happening. I want to say this took place in India because in the video there's like a YouTube link in the bottom left that says slash India. It looked like some people in this kind of tribal attire were dancing, uh, I'm not sure why. And it kept flashing to these other people like sewing something in this kid's mouth which i wasn't really sure what that was either but the most disturbing part of this was it kept flashing back to this body in this head so there was a decapitation it didn't show the actual decapitation but there's just a head and a body there that it keeps flashing back to that was definitely the most unnerving part I'm sure like this has to do with like a real world event or something. If anybody knows anything, please let me know because I couldn't figure it out. Triclops, love song for the botfly. Okay, so this starts out on like a National Geographic channel talking about botflies and how they like plant their larva into other flies and the other flies fly around planting their larva in other animals. And first we see maggots digging into cows and they get all bloody and that's pretty disgusting, but it's not so bad yet. We then see maggots extracted out of human skin and there's pus and blood and it's just disgusting, but that's not the worst part. We literally see an eye and there is a maggot in someone's eye and it's a whole process on a maggot being removed from his eye and my eyes started watering so bad as I watched this. It's really gross. Do not watch this one if you're queasy. Salem Piggy Hog. This one deals with a guy who has a pig fetish. Yeah. He touches this pig in very inappropriate ways and you can tell he's probably doing some bad things to this pig. Luckily, we don't see any of that on screen. It's all just knowledge to the viewer only we don't see the actual acts thank god eventually the pig becomes pregnant and has babies so this psychotic dude hangs the baby pig and kills it by the end of the video it looks like the guy's thinking about doing the same thing to himself but instead of actually hopping off he levitates into the sky very very strange virgin turtle horror existentia i could not find I could not find this video, but I eventually found a link, and it said it contained this, so I decided I was not going to click on that. There was no way I was ever going to watch that, so yeah. Kettle, Cadaver, Graveyard, Junkyard. So I'm pretty sure I saw a censored version of this, but this is just the band performing live. According to Last FM, though, the band would incorporate really disgusting things into their shows, such as self-mutilation and this what we talked about in the last entry so i'm sure i was blessed with a censored version because i don't think i'd want to see an uncensored version of this eagles hollow visions this video is an entire eye surgery and this one is probably the most disgusting one on this entire iceberg and it's on youtube if you want to go look it up, it's literally on the Eagles YouTube channel. They sew the eye, they stitch it, they do all kinds of crap to this eyeball. They have like metal prongs on the eyeball. It's so gross. I don't know why you would want to use this as your music video. Nobody is going to like this. If they like it, they need to be put in the Alcatraz. Anyway, it's on YouTube, so go enjoy, I guess. The second circus, Psychic's Tent. This is another one you can find on YouTube, and it's a lot just more disgusting than disturbing, which I think is the case for a lot of Tier 5. There's two dudes in these Halloween-looking costumes. Their foot and kneecap is super bloody. They start playing with their bloody kneecap and foot, and white pus starts spewing everywhere. Blood starts spewing everywhere. The blood I can handle, the pus I cannot. It is really, really 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 gross but i gotta give props to the makeup guy he made it look absolutely disgusting made it look pretty realistic props to him i guess 
but I will never be watching this video again. And finally, the Deus Duval, the IE slash EP song. I'm not really sure why this one's on here. It's literally just a naked dude playing the piano and dancing for like five minutes. That's all I got out of it. Maybe there's something more, but that's what I saw. There you have it. I finished the iceberg. And since that cephalic carnage video was the first one I watched for this, I really thought it was going to get so much worse. But I think that one desensitized me to the point where I can watch anything and be mentally okay. So before I throw up, I'm going to thank you guys for watching this video. And I hope to see you again soon. I go back to school next week, so it might be a while before I release more content. But who knows, sometimes school makes me work harder than I worked over break. So we'll see what happens. Anyway, thank you guys again. I will catch you next time. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't done that yet. Shameless self-promotion. I will see you guys next time.